Hello, my name is Yaseva and I am the founder of Joyism. I want to talk to you about something big and revolutionary that is happening. Now, Joyism is actually the expression of joy, the experience of joy and the creation of joy, which helps in everyone rejoicing. Now, this is coming from Tamil Nadu, in the south of India, a land which has been populated by the Tamils. Now, there's an ancient phrase which, is, which dates back to 4th century BC, which says that, Yadam ure, yavarum kelir, which means that we are all one and we are all belonging to one city. Or rather, to put it in another way, all cities are mine, we are kin. So this powerful inspiration combined with the power of joyism is going to revolutionize our world. That's what we believe and that's what we hope and that's what we are going to work for. This is because the people of Tamil Nadu have traditionally gone to other nations, have brought civilization to other parts of the world, have used their labor and their skills in agriculture in different lands, and truly they, have, they are now in different places of the planet, in different cities. Now, what is the combination of joyism and this Yadum Ure Yavarum Kelir, or in short, Y-O-Y-K? What does this combination of these two great principles or two great forces of which come to converge. It is that we are first going to look at global warming. How all cities could come together and halt global warming through joyism, which is actually the grassroot expression of people of joy. That people at grassroots level in streets are thinking of the future generations, the generations to come, which we call as posterity joy consciousness, because our children and their children should also enjoy this planet as we have enjoyed it. We should not destroy the planet, burn the resources and leave a dead planet for our children and their children and their offspring. Now that is something which is very important it starts with having a low carbon footprint. In fact, it starts with being conscious of one's carbon footprint. Individually, corporates, as a nation, as groups of people, we need to move towards high thinking, useful living, and simple living, so that we are not a burden to the planet. Now, this message is being taken through the women, through children, through youth, so that we can get all the children and all the youth and the women working towards this, so that we are able to halt global warming within the next 10 years, prevent the rise in temperature for, from going beyond 1.5 degrees. Now, once that happens, there are going to be irreversible damages. We all know that. So this is one big thrust of YOYK and Joyism convergence. The second is to put all cities, major cities and towns and villages on the road of joy so that people are able to give joy, get joy and create joy so that they are able to rejoice. Now is this possible? It is. In a very scientific way, we can do this by determining the joy indices of cities and localities. In 12 categories, we do a survey among the people, among the citizens, and find out what is their response, what is their happiness or satisfaction levels in each, for environment, for standard of living, for education, for sanitation, whatever it is. And we find out whether they are satisfied, they are dissatisfied, or totally unhappy, or they are pleased, whatever. And while in that state, are they able to do something, think positive? Are they able to talk positive or even act positive? Or 
Are they so depressed that they think negative, act negative and do even negative things? Like sometimes our misled brethren tend to blow up things, create acts of terror. Now that's a totally a negative aspect. Now once joy indices are determined for a certain area of, of a city, of a zone, we clearly know what the aspirations of people are. We know also who are those people who want to do good, who are those who are slipping into doing some negative things. So joy indices for cities is going to create a revolution. It's going to help government authorities, it's going to help welfare agencies find out precisely what citizens need and offer it to them. So that it's no more just populist freebies that need to be given without understanding why one is doing this. So this is going to change the dynamics and so once this is done at different levels in streets, in zones, in counties, in whatever classification and in cities then we are sure that in the next five years cities would be surely on the road of joy. Now this is the second thing which which is happening through YOYK, Joyism Convergence. The third is the culture of joy that is being launched all over the world in music, art, dance and drama. We are going to encourage the youth to present their original works so that this can be displayed in the digital media so that the world can look at. And what is so exciting is that these works of art would be thematic. They'll be themed on peace, on love, on concern for one another, on joy, so that we are able to bring a culture of joy within the people, among the generations, and give them a vision in life so that everything they do, what they imagine, what they act, move them towards joy and not towards anything which is detrimental to them. So this encouragement is surely going to make a difference. Once again, brought to you by the convergence of joyism and the YOYK movement, the Yadum Ure Yavarum Kelir movement, where we intend to connect with 500 cities, where we intend to take responsibility for the well-being of the many cities and the many villages and towns, because that is what our forefathers have inspired us to do. So with this small message, I want to request you to be a part of this, to engage with us, see how you could participate, be benefited wherever you are, whichever city, whichever town, wherever you're watching this from, be a part of this movement and let's turn this place into a place that is beautiful, inclusive, development, holistic. In other words, bring heaven on earth. Thank you.